The Assessing or Planning Change Diagram. Hi, this is Bob Hoagland of Bob Hoagland Incorporated. We provide better results through healthier relationships and increased responsibility. There are six components or elements that must be addressed when planning for change or assessing the change process. The first one is the vision and direction. Some people also call it the aim, purpose, or reason that a business or school exists. I have quotes for each of the six to illustrate the points. Vision without action is a daydream. Action without vision is a nightmare. Knowledge and skill. It is not enough to do your best. You must first know what to do and then do your best. Motivation and buy-in. Motivation is the art of getting people to do what you want them to do because they want to do it. And as Dwight Eisenhower also said, you don't lead by hitting people over the head. That's assault, not leadership. Resources and materials. We definitely have to have the people to do the job. Time isn't a big resource. And of course, the money to be able to do what we need to do. And as Henry Ford II says, what is right about America is that although we have a mess of problems, we have a great capacity, intellect, and resources to do something about them. We also need an action plan or a blueprint. Never confuse movement with action. A goal without a plan is just a wish. And that's why we need SMART goals and PDSAs to keep us on track. However beautiful the strategy, we should occasionally look at the results. And that's why we need the assessment and feedback piece. We measure what we care about. And without good data, you can't make good decisions. When we put all of these six together, the vision and direction, knowledge and skill, motivation and buy-in, resources and materials, action plan or blueprint, data and assessment, that produces happiness in the workplace, or as Dr. Deming used to say, creating joy in the workplace. And it produces the quality product or service that we want. You see the red line. Below the red line, this diagram is now uh, diagnostic. When there's confusion or conflict, it's because of a lack of vision and direction. When there's a fear of failure, the people don't have the correct knowledge and skill to do what they need to do. Passivity and mediocrity is a lack of motivation or buy-in, or as some people like to say, the whiff em. what's in it for me. Frustration and overload is a lack of resources and materials. Again, keeping in mind that not only is money a resource, time is also a resource. When we have resentment or divisiveness, it's because we don't have an action plan or a blueprint. And lastly, when we have the plus and minus of support of a program or an approach or a process, it usually is because we don't have the data and assessment to tell us that we're do how we're doing. Thanks for using this PowerPoint presentation. I hope you enjoy it and find it useful. For this and other information, please visit www.bobhoagland.com, and there you'll find other articles, podcasts, videos, and many more opportunities for training. Thanks again for listening.